What a freaking training session this was, everybody. Welcome back to another workout slash leg day. Um, very, I won't say low volume today, but this week I really wanted to take it up a notch just in terms of actually pushing myself. And uh, you guys will see here uh, that I did end up hitting another PR, which is great for me. Well, PR at whatever weight that I'm at. Um, so starting off here with 135, like I've said before, guys, I always warm up with the same rep schemes and same weight pretty much. Uh, I'm finding that uh, when I keep things consistent with that and over time I notice that uh, the warm up weights are getting easier, um, I just get more motivated by that. For example, right now warming up with 135 pounds for 12 versus uh, six months ago, 135 pounds for a warm up felt like it was, I was trying to squat a freaking tank on my back. Now it's practically, I won't say it's nothing, but you get motivated by little things like that. So um, after that 165 for eight, which I didn't film unfortunately because my camera was low on uh, battery, but I did get my top sets, which is great here. So 185 for five after that. And my, my bar speed week to week is getting so much faster, which is where I'm noticing uh, more progress. And um, unfortunately today, for whatever reason, I was just gonna get into it a little bit later, but I felt a singe of, um, just a weird, not even pain, but just like an ache in my uh, my glute area, which is really, really strange for me. I never felt anything like it before. Uh, it's almost like I was, it, it's like a ache that you get when you overextend on um, like a leg movement, which is weird for me. Again, I'll, I'd, I'd probably just the way I was feeling today for whatever reason, but um, I'm sure I'll get over it. But I'm making the use right now of um, just the, the no cardio and just pounding as many calories down as well not I won't I won't go that far but pounding a lot of calories down and um, just turning my my appetite on really and, and using everything for growth right now as you guys can see last week 245 pounds in the bottom left hand corner of the screen was I got that for five reps today in almost the same amount of time that I got it last week for three reps that's how quick my bar speed got just in a week and I was able to get two reps um, I wanted to really test everything out and do a three by five essentially today instead of a three by three. And to me, that's that's just increasing the intensity. That is another variable you can get when it comes down to progressively overloading. Now, unfortunately, my gym doesn't have 2.5 pound plates, but um, that is, I'm just increasing it by 10 pounds each week, it looks like. So uh, the bottom left hand corner again is just last week at 265 for three and then getting it for this week. Uh, for five reps and just I mean it, it kind of just blew my mind looking at the footage only a few minutes ago just seeing how fast I was this week is you know comparing it to last week um, granted I didn't do any sort of cardio today and no warm cardio or anything so I just went straight into lifting and this is the PR today this is plus 10 pounds at 275 for a pretty solid triple in my opinion um, you guys saw that I'm actually <laughs> my ends are belt I need to get a get a few notches up because I'm having to uh, yeah, it's kind of constricting my breathing now that I'm uh, putting on some putting on some pounds. But you know, it's completely fine. I'm I'm totally I'm committed to to gaining strength again. And um, right now, I'm I'm just happy with where things are, where everything is at. Really, we just I mean, here my my back didn't even fold up as much as I thought it would. And uh, afterwards, I moved on, over into some uh, leg presses, and um, I kept it pretty light this week at five five plates. Um, I've said it many times, but I don't believe in going super heavy on the leg press, especially after heavy squats like that. Um, I did actually do another set of 275 for a triple after that, and it felt like I was seeing stars for the rest of um, for the rest of the training session. It felt like I was literally at like an RPE of like probably pushing nine when I did that last set. So I didn't really want to do anything extra crazy afterwards. So. Um, finish off here and I always if you guys haven't done this before throw in some calf raises when you do your leg presses it, it kind of I don't know it kind of mixes things up a little bit so um and uh but yeah I mean honestly guys it's it's cool to to train this way and, and see results um before I forget too in case you guys are new to my my trip my leg days I like to do a very uh, a heavy power movement and then I use an accessory really to that power movement I keep things very simple um, so you can do if you don't like leg presses you can do hack squats or you can do um, lunges or you can do um, uh, pretty much just any sort of accessory movement really uh, goblet squats 
I also threw these in. I know my hamstrings are going to be fried tomorrow, but um, some dumbbell uh, stiff legged deadlifts. Uh, you can also do these with a barbell as well, but I feel like I get way more recruitment for my hamstrings with these. And I always, 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 have, I've strayed away from these just because I've done so much bike riding in the past. And these always gave me such bad doms where I wasn't able to bike ride the next day. So now that I'm not riding, <laughs> I can uh, do more of these and hopefully we'll see my deadlift and squat improve. So uh, other than that, guys, that is pretty much a light day for me. I did like two other exercises, which I didn't film and uh, got out of the gym pretty quickly today. But I was very, very, very tired. I did all this on about four hours of sleep. So I got home and I'm ready to crash. So if you guys like more of these, definitely let me know. I'll be posting more, but this is kind of just for my own progress. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching.